Hi guys, what is an Excel Power Pivot? It's a free add-on in Excel designed by Microsoft. It adds a lot of power to your Excel by extending the capabilities of pivot table and data summarization. Having the ability to import data from multiple sources has never been easier as it is now. Designed to add and integrate large amounts of data in Excel workbooks, this wonderful tool can create remarkably dynamic reports for you. So why um, we should use these power pivots? Wow, these conventional pivots are different from these power pivots. What are the relationships that we create in the power pivots? Adding data models, building reports with power pivots, how data model management can be done, adding slicers to these power pivots, and adding calculated column and fields. This is what I'm, I'm gonna go through today and I'm gonna demonstrate practically how you can do it. But first of all, with regard to this power pivot, I would like to tell you some of the important and key features of these power pivots, just like business intelligence is, is more uh, deliberately uh, enhanced in these power pivots for, for the users. Then we have no limits to the data columns. So you have rows or columns, there is no limitation at all. You can use as much as you can, as much as your memory allows you to go in. You can integrate data from multiple sources. It can be SQL, it can be MS Access, it can be multiple Excel tables, and they can be located in the clouds or anywhere. You can pull the data in and you can analyze it the way you want to do it. And then, of course, we have these dynamic uh, analytical expressions that are called DAX functions, which are in addition to the Excel functions you can use in these power pivots. So, um, before we go into the power pivots, I will tell you how the conventional pivots are working. Uh, for example, this is a f this is the data that we have, and we want to analyze this data. So, in in conventional, uh, I'll say, pivot tables, what you do is you get you get the data, and there are some columns that you want to add in. Like we have that, we have sales representatives, we have products, we have discounts, and we have units over here, which which we can analyze, and we have certain other tables where we have this information. Let me make it a little bit zoomed more for your convenience. So now you can see it better, I believe. So we have a sales team's references like each person is located where. So locations, we have the pricing of the products that these sales guys are selling. And of course, in addition to this, um, we have certain revenue that we are getting. So now we will analyze how these guys, these sales representatives are getting this revenue. So uh, let's write VLOOKUP. And now um, we look at formula, we'll check whether the product PDS in another table that is somewhere like pricing. So we'll get the BDS price from here, you can see. So BDS price is 21K. So we'll pull it in via writing a formula. And believe me, this is, this is not that easy for a common user to write all these formulas and analyze the data. So you see, it did not pick any any of the format even. So you can see in the pricing, there is a format, proper format of euros currency. It's not picking it up. So this is one of the features that you will see in, in, in the dynamic power tables. It's added in over there. So this BDS is connected. And now we'll pull in some discount from here. So for example, this is the discount. Uh, we are pulling in one minus, um, let's say, the discount. So it's 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 going to be applicable on the product. So product price will come after the total discount applied. Uh, of course, we'll multiply it with the units as well. So how many units we sold. So the total units, um, discount calculated, and of course, uh, the total price is here, the revenue that we got for each one of these guys. So you can see that how many BDS he sold and what, what, what amount of the revenue that he got after that sale. Um, we can equally, um, the same way, pull in the region data as well from another table. So we'll really look up, uh, for example, the sales representative, that is C2. And we'll go down into the table where it's the sales team, where we have the region against each and every account manager or the sales manager. So we'll pull it in in our table and now you can see all the regions are available. So this this was one of the one of the conventional way we are using these uh, these power tables to pull the data in from uh, from certain tables that are there. But uh, this case we have to apply all all the fields with with the 
data types that we want. So this is a little bit, I'll say, not that handy. And it's it's a bit hassle to go into the formulas and get your desired results and outcomes. And then from, from here on, you go, go along with your pivots and you go along with different kind of analysis. So here we go. I'll, I'll simply pull in one quick pivot over here and you can see I can see only one uh, kind of table over here that is appearing. So there you go. There you go. So you can see this data by region now and all the sales are here, but we need to make it uh, again uh, as per our desired format. So then you can go on and you can see who has been collecting or getting sales from which region and how much again you can see that the data format is not the one we wanted to so this is not I'll say not that intelligent uh, with respect to the data movement that we are doing so it cannot really recognize what what a user wants to do rather in the power pivots we can see this happening really uh, understanding of the user mentality so this is a typical example of how the conventional uh, I'll say pivots are working so now i'll take you quickly um to the advanced uh power pivots so uh, where we can write um dax expression and uh, we can create kpi so let's see let's see how it works so the first thing what i will do is i will uh, this this i will show you that on the ribbon that we have this uh, power pivot if some of the users don't have it don't worry just go down on your home and click on customize the ribbon and there you can see in the customize ribbon tab it is appearing in the power view so if the power view is available and you click it you can see it over here so once you have it you click on the manage and the moment you click on the manage you will move into the power pivot but before that I will show you the same Excel where we have these tables separately uh, available discounts regions and the pricings so everything is available we just need to pull it in in our power pivot table so this sheet will take in all these tables so i close it down and i will go to as i said uh, manage so once i click on the manage i can get into the power pivot menu where i can see all the options so here from the database sql access or any other power pivots uh, different sources or existing connection if you have an access or a scale you can pull it from here but now we'll go to the other sources and down there you can go and see excel so i clicked on excel i go to browse and i pick the file that i wanted to i'll make the first headers as column headers and test the connection yes succeeded okay that's quick and next so now we have the tables over here which we wanted to pull in so we'll click one by one all the tables that we wanted to take in so simply I'll check and verify if there is any connection. There shouldn't be a connection. So there's no connection. So I will simply click on finish. It will import, successful import, and nothing cancels, no error, all succeeded. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And all the rows and columns have been transferred over here. We can see all the numbers. So close it and just go there and see all the beautiful tables are imported in your Power Pivot. So here we can see everything. Perfect. So this is how you can see um, your tables and now you can make some calculated fields over here. For example, I want to pull in some information, the same information that I wanted to pull in the conventional uh, table here. So I will put related, that's it, one of the DAX uh, data expressions. Uh, I will pull it from pricing, but hold on, we don't have a connection with the pricing. So when I pull in the pricing from the product here, it will not pull anything because there's no relationship over there. So um, even if I do that, it won't work for me. So I'll have to go out and I have to build a relationship between these two tables, sales and pricing. So I get out from here and I go into the diagram view. I click here and I can see these tables are here, but there's no relationship. So I need to build a logical relationship between these uh, tables. So my pricing product has a connection with the product in the sales team. So when you click on the relationship, it shows which fields are connected. Similarly, account manager is connected with the account manager over here. So I click and see, yes, account manager, account manager connected. Correct. Perfect. 
So this is a relationship that we have built over here. I can see it a little bit bigger. And so that's how it works. I go back to the data view and now I will go again uh, by pulling in the data. So I'll pull in equal to sign related related yes is the formula dax formula i'll say rather so i'll put the column name so pricing i have to invoke when i write pricing it goes to the pricing and it shows the pricing table over here so i'll pick pricing for bts price which is connected in the pricing if you remember in the relationship i will pick this pricing from the pricing table so here we go I put it over here pricing is the table prices is the column and then what am I gonna do with that I'm gonna multiply this with the units that I've sold so I will get the BDS price and I will sell it uh, by the total sales so units I will click the units now I have got the unit so BDS price will be multiplied from the pricing table with the units over here and that's why we will get something like price multiplied by two there you go so 21k is the price for the bds and if i click over here i see that 42k is the price for the two that we have sold so this is dynamic by the way so the moment it will units will change the prices uh or will multi will be multiplied by units and it will be uh, a calculated dynamic field over here so now uh, we, we will create another uh, dynamic field rather. On the top you can see the dynamic column, calculated column. So we'll uh, sum up the sales over here. So the sales, uh, well, I'll take the column and I'll press enter. There is something wrong. Let's see what's the wrong thing. So we need to pull in uh, some title for this uh, so that we can see what exactly it is. So I'll say, uh, let's, let's make a total uh, and colon this is this is one of the expressions that we use in VBA if you if you remember so now at the end we have to close this um, expression and the moment I press enter I can see that the calculated field has picked up all the total sum of this field so there we are we have the submission over here now what I will I'll do is I will take all this data uh, into a pivot table yes so I will take the existing sheet, I press OK, the power table is here, and interestingly, you can see all the tables are available here. So now we can connect and we can do VLOOKUP without pressing any or writing any code for that. So how we can do it? Let's see, account managers, I'll pull in as rows, or let's make it columns, and then I will take some uh, products that they have sold. So products I've taken from one, table and account managers took from the other one and now let's take the calculated column so it is showing me that each account manager has sold how many BDS clearly you can see it from here so it's pretty pretty dynamic uh, and pretty pretty nice and convenient to work on with the next thing I would like to do is I would like to pull some information in in a beautiful slicer from this particular table so the first thing that you have to do for a slicer is to select that table definitely otherwise you're gonna you're gonna end up nowhere after selecting you'll go to the analyze tab and there you see insert slicer so click on the insert slicer it will show you all the tables so you have to select one of the slicing options so probably I'll take a region so I'll see the regions the first thing I would like to do is to beautify this slicer I want to see it very beautiful so I'll take the blue color over here it's a beautiful thing I love it so now whenever I click on each of these regions I can see this dynamic table moving and trust me this is this is fast this is very fast taking data from multiple tables in multiple excels and bringing it in for you it's really fast so there's the relationship uh, from where this data is coming in this is the total data and this is dynamic by the way so for example I'll go into Excel where it contains this data and I'll edit it so the moment I'll open this Excel uh, I can see it is in pricing so I'll add for example let's let's take another example and I'll put one more field one more product over here which can be um, Price management and let's copy the price from the cable trace and put it here so this is another assumed price I will close this save it and uh, now I will go back to my power pivots and I'll just simply go on the top and refresh it it will show me my new field over here just press refresh it will 
connect to the database and you can see your next field pulled in so it's very dynamic so you don't have to worry about the connectivity you don't have to worry about the data it's already pulled in once it is there in the original access so this is how your power pivots get the data in and this is how simply they calculate. You can see that it's pretty much powerful in engaging the data from multiple sources. So that was it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will you will continue learning in the Power Pivots more. Looking forward to see you in the coming videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye.